everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen, take two. So, after streaming to my personal page, oh, <laughs> well, yeah, give Karen a little testy run there, get you back into it, didn't it Karen? Yes, that was my little rehearsal. <laughs> So I was sat there looking where we were, Simon says we're streaming, I'm going no we're not. So basically we'd go all over it again with you. I don't know so, who did that but I'm back now so it should be fine. See this big snail. Right okay so we're really pleased to have Karen back in the kitchen. It's lovely to have a guest mm -hmm. in the kitchen, it really is, it feels a bit more normal and Karen has got some fabulous new moulds to show you, um, especially for little boys but she's also done them for little girls as well but everybody always thinks of space thing for boys but we must remember girls enjoy them as well and she's also going to be using a fabulous um, sugar paste um, if you've not used this I highly recommend it, I shout about it all the time, it's perfect for moulds and marshmallow, be very careful, do not taste it because if you taste it you won't share it with anybody, I'm telling you now, she does a vanilla, a vanilla and she does a marshmallow flavour and then she's also going to make a fabulous cookie dough for you tonight and show you a cookie biscuit. So we can't wait to get started. <laughs> so sorry for the delay. And those who saw it on the personal page, you know where we are, don't you? <laughs> right, crack um, on. We've just got to try and remember what I said now. <laughs> <laughs> we just started all I'm going to start taking oh, sensitive now. Oh, oh. Um, right, yes, it's lovely to be back here at long last. It feels like we were saying it must be nearly a year because Carol's been to visit me. At my place, haven't yeah, you a couple of I times? Yeah, I've been to yours. Yeah, yeah. Going out yeah. for tea and everything. Yeah, so <laughs> it's it's nice coming here again now. Feels a bit more, a bit normal again. So tonight I want to show you the two new moulds. These are both from the cookie range. I've got the dinosaurs at the top there. I can't remember all the names, <laughs> but there's a T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go and get all, all the names? I've got the Pterodactyl right and oh, the, you know, the <laughs> usual ones. The dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a nice baby coming out of its, its eggshell there, and uh, the mummy dinosaur. And then you've got the space one here with the astronaut, the rocket, alien, an alien spaceship. And this one here is either a cupcake top or um, a cookie mold. You've got a shooting star, some little stars here as well. So, I'm going to start off with the dinosaurs anyway. But first of all, um, I've brought some books for Carol to give with every order tonight. So, if you place an order tonight, there's one pair customer till they run out. Yes, I, 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 I said I can't remember how many is in the box. <laughs> it's either 80 or 100, I can't remember. <laughs> So there's plenty, but yeah. um, they will run out eventually. And our sugar paste, that's another point as well. I was, I was telling Carol when I arrived that we, we've had a bit of a mess up with the order for the next batch. So we're not going to get any more in till the end of July. So what no. Carol's got now is literally can. gold dust. Yeah. Because <laughs> she might not have any till late July, early August again. Um, right, so I'll get started with the dinosaurs. Okay. They are for cookies, like I say, they're from our cookie, our cookie craft range. So there's our T-Rex, that's there, he's that, that one. We've got the mummy dinosaur, the baby dinosaur, and oh, oh now the, this one here, the pterodactyl, is actually on top of one of the cakes. <laughs> because he had a cookie stick in, I'd actually used him in the top of the volcano, so I will show him show him later but there's some of the cookies anyway they're really cute um, and very easy to do you get the recipe with the mold and I know some of you have already had a go with some of our other cookie molds and that recipe by the way I mean it's funny because we get queries from people saying it when they've baked it saying it's too soft yeah and then we get the opposite people saying it's too, too hard, hard. <laughs> so it is, it? so Tell it is a it. case <laughs> of usually the oven temperature and how long you have them in for you know the usual sort of thing so if you're finding the recipes too hard bake them for you know less time if it's too soft bake them a little longer or whatever so i've put some corn flour into the mold and tap that out so there's not too much now i've got some paste our sugar paste coloured with some black paste colour. I'm just thinking with the um, corn flour, my hands are so dry. Everybody's got dry hands, haven't they? Yeah. And I've just done the corn flour and thought, oh no, it's like my hand, my fingers actually cracked with all the um, hand washing and the gel. And yeah, I meant to say, oh. I've got some fabulous cream that I keep me in and to tell everybody about. Yeah, yeah. Somebody sent me oh. a sample of it, a company yeah. sent me a sample Ooh. of it, it's fantastic. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Oh, sorry. Right, so. 
I've just kneaded that to get it nice and smooth and you want it smooth on this side before you put it into the mold that is quite a big flat piece so make it easy for yourself and flatten it out like that okay so it will go in easily so I use this cornflour on my fingers so I'm not sticky it's quite warm tonight so my hands are hot so that makes the paste sticky obviously so I'm just pushing out to the edges. Right, so let me just say something. Carol yeah. Butler, yes, you are watching it live now. It is actually <laughs> live. We're 15 minutes late. Sorry about that. Only the new cameraman was streaming, <laughs> streaming us to my personal page. <laughs> so we just had a bit of a moment. There was some technical issues. <laughs> is that what we call it? Yes. Oh, I'm just taking off the excess paste there at the side. Any questions you've got, Carol will read them out to me. So, fire yeah, there's away. been a few that found us on that on my personal page, uh. <laughs> and then they wondered what was going on, but oh. they're back. <laughs> oh. um, so they're just saying that you're sounding very quiet, Karen. Oh right. We've got new cameras, uh, new um, microphones now that just sort of zoning in on the area. Uh, so that. shall I shout? Well, they're, <laughs> actually, they're actually very good. Yeah. They, they only. Mm. they're to take out all the distant noise from right around. yeah so and i'm probably i'm looking what i'm doing to, looking yes. down talking like down like this instead of up like this so exactly. is that what it is so i'll, I'll just i will um you can and, adjust it a bit and mm -hmm. adjust it when you, you great pointing away from and you okay. see yourself on there now Karen. Yeah, now we do two screens Ooh, it's frightening <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you look to the that's audience. not an improvement <laughs> So that's how Ooh. you look to everybody. Oh, I really no. see you now. Oh, so we've dear. got a great audience. <laughs> we're, for, we're just short of 450 <gasps> at the moment. Ooh. So the audience is growing Aww. nicely. I think they're probably Aww. all confused why we're late and where we've been. <laughs> we'll right. be having a chat with Simon Aww. after. Aww. <laughs> Uh, you can see that this is is going to come out very very easily. There's never any need to put them in the freezer. You know, you hear people That's saying a fantastic thing with your mom, all so. these things. Put them in the freezer and all this. They should just fall out like that. I mean that's big and heavy so it will just drop out if you're going to do something like really tiny let's do a dinosaur bone here well that was just that was just handy that actually because they said would the cup would they be too big for cupcake toppers and um, well, small ones as well what I, I would do for cupcake toppers is maybe just do the heads on them yeah. you know like trim them yeah. if i actually show you this board first of all that um christina made for me um, they're sort of like a, a cookie size or you know it gives you an idea you don't have to use the whole dinosaur she's actually trimmed them to fit yeah. on the cookies <laughs> or whatever and here you know on the heart she's <laughs> trimmed him off there so these are all um, painted and decorated which I'll show you in a, in a little while with this this one I've just molded so they look really effective don't they but um, you know these I'm doing this the cartoon like because young children like Oh, this dinosaurs. Is, this it. is the girl yeah. board to show that they are not just for boys. But it's you know. great, that board though, that mm -hmm. board to do for boys and for girls. It's yeah. fabulous. Yeah. So a few of you asked, where can you buy the mould? You can buy the mould on our website. Karen has come and stocked us up tonight. Mm -hmm. So that's sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Go to Brands and they're in under Karen Davies. Everything is under there. Some of you have asked for Karen Griffiths recipes from this morning. Karen Griffiths is watching. As far as I know, she did put them on the website. Right, I'm going to put out some powder colours now too. So everybody who orders moulds tonight gets Karen's free book offer. Right, I'm going to get some pink out, powder pink. This is Rainbow Dust Rose. So you've just coloured your sugar paste like yeah, a, a gray. slight grey pale, colour. Yeah, pale yeah. grey. I, like I like it like that. A little, like a little bit of black in it to get the grey. And then... With your powder colours, just put your brush in. You know, you see so many people doing this and then you rub on the paper. Dab it into your lid first and then rub into your paper so there's no loose powder. And then that powder will go back into um, the pot. Yeah, you just have to watch your head under the camera. Sorry, sorry. Did you realise? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So I'm tickling his nostrils there, or her nostrils with the brush. <laughs> and then the cheek and just... Good job I've had my uh, highlights done. <laughs> Just. <laughs> That's great. Isn't it? I managed to get my nails oh. done today. Oh. Can you use the that side? <laughs> Okay, so that's just the, so the that's cheeks that. on there. Now choose two colours 
for um, the body. So you can do stripes or spots, you know, whatever you want, really. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> right. Um, just picking out. How much is that mold, Karen? Seventeen ninety nine. Seventeen ninety nine. Yeah. I think they're both seventeen ninety nine, yes. aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah. yeah. We do deliver to Northern <laughs> Ireland. Um, free delivery on orders over forty pound. Southern Ireland. I would suggest you have your parcels diverted to the parcel motel i think it's called i think you need to sign up for the parcel motel we can dispatch there and then parcel motel dispatch out to southern ireland i'm just painting in his sort of claws there with some white powder mixed with alcohol you can use water you don't need to use the alcohol or lemon extract okay yeah sorry marie <coughs> maria we was on the wrong page as well <laughs> oh. I think people are just finding us. <laughs> oh. All right, I'm just going to turn him slightly and that'll save me putting my head over the top. Um, I've got plum, this colour is rainbow dust. Yeah, plum truffle, this is called. Yeah, it's a nice colour, that one, yeah. isn't it? I'm glad you're using it because it is nice. It's nice for people to see it. Yeah. So the dust that um the dust that Karen's using tonight is a selection of rainbow dust. And she may pop out a couple of the fractal ones. They're, they're as good as each other. They're both brilliant dust. Yeah, so just brush the powder colour on there. Onto the... Okay. And then we can... Let me think. Let's get a softer brush. Do you know, I've got loads of brushes. And when I pack, I just go to grab loads. But there's never the ones I want. <laughs> oh, no, that's got... That would be okay, actually. It's got black on, but... <clears throat> rub in so when I want to clean my brushes I just do them in corn flour just you know rub them in a pot of corn flour oh that's good Adrian you can also get them delivered to Ireland through a dress pal oh I'll have to have a look at that one mm -hmm. so I'm just putting this color on softly just some spots on her back you can do two colours you know you don't just have to do one so Barbara the, the moulds are on our website sugarandcrumbs.co.uk just go to brands or go to what's new they're actually in there Karen has brought a massive assortment of moulds tonight she's going to show you loads of them so they'll be in there and if we do run out of stock don't worry I can order them again tomorrow with Karen and they'll be here with me on Wednesday yeah, yeah we've got plenty so you'll get them straight away so i can actually put them back into stock tomorrow afternoon if we run out of anything so i forgot to say when you do figures like this when you're dusting them i'm just going to mix a bit of gray there so i want white in with the black yeah. janine did you buy the moles off me if you did let me know and i'll save you a book and i'll pop it in your next order so i'm just using a flat brush i've mixed gray i'm just doing a flat brush around the edge just so shades it. Maria, uh, Maria Wilson's asking, how far in advance would you mm -hmm. make these to put on a cake? You can do them when you want, really, because mm -hmm. if storing them, put them in a cardboard box, yeah. not Tupperware or polythene, yeah. just in a cardboard box, and they will keep a long, long time. Just put them on layers of them. Kitchen roll, isn't it? Yeah. In yeah. a cardboard box. Yeah, yeah or you sponge. Mustn't, you mustn't put them on um, in a Tupperware box because yeah. they go all soft. Yeah, nothing plastic. So they've just shaded the edges round there. Just make a little bit more. Yes, we do sell the dust as well. And round his head. Yeah, yeah keep calling him him. <laughs> Carol Butler, I agree with you. The fractal dust are amazing. And Karen uses those as well. Uh, Carol Broad, yes, you do get the book with any orders of Karen Moulds, uh, Karen Davies Moulds tonight. So anybody who orders, well, in fact, just while stocks last, Karen thinks she's brought 80 to 100 books. So that'll keep us going for a couple of days. So I'm going to paint her eyes now. I've just mixed the alcohol with the powder. I like using the alcohol with, for the eyes because it dries so quickly. So, you know, you can paint, you're not waiting. If it's mixed with water, you're waiting for it to dry for a while. Um, just let me ask you a question. Christine Burke says that she said she's getting ignored. I've got to be honest, Christine, I haven't seen you say anything. It's very difficult when the feed is going fast. And I don't, I want Karen to talk and do the demonstration. 
So if you'd like to tell me again what it is you want to ask, and I'll, I'll read it out. So we're not ignoring you. There we go. Painted the eyes in. You always paint the eyes looking up or down, never straight in the middle. Let me lift it. Where's the this? I'm <laughs> trying to find I'm the camera. Right. I'm not used to it yet, so yeah. please uh, um, forgive me which way yeah. I go. <laughs> yeah. Just to confirm, the book That's is it. free with any order with any Karen Davies mould. So it doesn't have to be this mould. You can order any mould you want. And it's just while stocks last. So we think we've got 80 to 100 books. So once we've got rid of 100, that's it. Unless you've got any more, Karen. I've got, I, I have got more back at home. <laughs> yeah. If I can get some more from my next order, I will do. Right, so I'm going to do the outline of the eye and the eyelashes. But this time I use water because the brush I'm using is so thin if that was alcohol, it'd be dry by now. <laughs> right, can I just answer Christine's yeah, yeah. question? She says, what do I use to paint? So Christine, what, what um, Karen's mm -hmm. using, she's actually using dust. Now we, use, we do sell three ranges of dust and Karen does use them all. There is the fractal dust, the rainbow dust and the colour splash dust. You use them with a little drop of rejuvenator. Now if Karen just shows the little bottle, this is a little 14 mil bottle, okay? <laughs> We also, the, be, the best bottle is the 280 ml or this dipping solution, which is exactly the same product. Some people use vodka. The problem with vodka, it dries very quickly and it gets very clumpy. So you're better off using rejuvenator or dipping solution. You only need a tiny bit. As you can see, Karen's doing it in the lid of her pot. And the reason for this is if you let the lid, are you doing it in the lid of your pot here? Yeah, with yeah. the alcohol, I use the lid. Yeah. If I'm using water, I use the palette. Because yeah. if you do it in the lid, when it dries, you can actually just dust it and pop it back into your pot. So I hope that answers your question, Christine, and sorry for missing it before. Zoe, is it fondant? <laughs> yes, it is. Karen Davies moulds. You can actually roll out and put over a cake. Uh, still can't figure switch. this out. Yeah, roll yeah. roll yeah. over and put over a cake, or you can use it for the moulds. Okay, so you can see her eyes painted there. I used a very fine brush and I only ever do two or three eyelashes. Get as close as I can. Okay. So it's a nice friendly dinosaur. <laughs> Christine, we don't sell them in a bunch of colours because the problem is everybody likes different colours and sometimes when they buy bunches of them they may have used more of one than they actually have another. So we just sell them as singles. And hello Nick, it's nice to have you with us tonight. Geraldine Allen's brother's joining us, he's becoming a regular. <laughs> so, I'm just going to mould, I was going to mould the little bone before and then I forgot. Because then I'll, I'll just do the bone and then I'll show you some of the cakes with the dinosaurs on. Yeah. Once you can paint one, you can paint them all. They're all very, very similar. Okay, so I'll do the small bone here. I use this bone to like spell out a name to, yeah, or a number, I'll show you in a second Michelle Jones if you just bought the, if you've just bought the molds off me message me afterwards and on your next order I can pop one in for you okay it looks a bit grubby because I've had I had powder colors on my fingers so <laughs> it doesn't matter really it's only on the back so that's ready to come out you know before when I showed you the dinosaur it's so big and heavy it came out really easily um, this will come out easily, but it's not heavy, so it doesn't just drop out. So you just bend the mould and maybe a little flick and it will fall out. Okay. So if I show you the cakes now, close up. Oh, yeah, cakes. showing the cakes. Yeah, because it does, you can do so many different things with them here. So if I bring that one up to the screen, you can see there I've used the, our woodland bark on that one which I forgot to bring some actually, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to show you the tropical leaves and things as well if I've got time. Like I say, there's so many things to show you. Um, this is the other cookie. I used him because he had the cookie stick and I could push him into the top of the volcano on there. Okay. So everybody, the molds are on our page tonight. I know a few of you have asked, they're all different prices, but just go to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go under brand Karen Davies, and these two brand new moulds are $17.99. You actually get a lot in the moulds. They're absolutely fabulous. And I've just seen a question that I think I should answer. Mm -hmm. That's a nice one. Chris amazing. Yeah, Christina did this one yeah. for me. That's nice with the three babies. <laughs> <laughs> Triplets on that one. 
They look fantastic. Yeah, and they she's covered the amazing. cakes with the tropical leaves and the trailing leaves, yeah. which I'm hoping it's to show nice you. It's nice to see that mould being used, actually. Yeah. 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 Okay. And I love the idea of the little mould. Who thought of this um, design then? Which the dinosaurs? Yeah. Well, me and Alice between us. That's lovely. And I think, love you know, this pink dinosaur here. Yeah, the pink so mum. Yeah. <laughs> the mummy and baby there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and there you can see there I've done the number two with the bones. So we're only promoting products on our own page, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Now this one actually, when I made this one, um, you know, Christina does some cakes for me. So I asked her, could she do one similar but in darker colours, more realistic colours? So they're very this this cake, these two cakes are very similar, the one you've just seen and this one. But you see the difference yeah. the colours make. And I would never have thought of doing a burgundy no, cake. I wouldn't you have. automatically think green, you know, yeah. green and the sky or sky. Yeah. For the, you know, sky blue, though, but she? I just love that burgundy cake. I think it's yeah. amazing, and it sort of matches in with the colours on uh, the mummy dinosaur at the front there, and on the T Rex. And she, she actually used our pineapple as the tree trunk, <laughs> you see, and the ferns off the tropical leaves. So there's so much on there, so much detail. Fantastic! Um, Don't forget to like and share, everybody. We're doing a twenty-five pound voucher, so do feel free to like and share. Uh, Karen's going to go through everything with you tonight. I know we've got a 15 minute delay because we were streaming on my private page, but mm -hmm. do not worry, you won't miss anything. Oh. <laughs> we're making Simon feel very guilty, sweating. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We don't care. <laughs> so there, I mean, there's, there's quite a bit of detail in the leaves on that, but you don't have to do all five dinosaurs or, no. you know, more. You can just do a cake with one dinosaur on, so it's a quick, easy, quick birthday cake. And for a child, that's... They're happy with that, aren't they? That's all yeah. they want. <laughs> Just let me go and update the website, Louisa. We can't be out of stock. I'll go and put them in stock now because Karen's brought a whole load of them in here tonight. So I will, um, if you can show them the cake you first showed them. Yeah. Which one? The first. Which, which first. the first one? I think it was this one, was it? Oh, that one, yes, yeah. with all the leaves. So on. I'll just yeah. go and put them in stock. I've got to be honest, yeah. I probably didn't update mm. the dinosaurs oh, in space. Oh, okay. That's just a way of displaying cookies. They're all cookies. Um, and these are actually silk leaves. They're not sugar leaves. Yeah, I've cheated a little bit there. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's just right. to put them in. If you're doing a children's party, you can use a planter and put right. something inside, you know, to stand all the cookies up or whatever. So that's another way to display them. And then the cake, I think they wanted to see again, was this one that's covered in all the leaves. Yeah. Okay. So there's tropical leaves on there, trailing leaves, and I think the poppy, yeah, the poppy is off our brush embroidery mould. And lots of little bones, you can see all the bones there, just to give that detail on that one. <laughs> okay. So Carol's back. <laughs> yes, don't worry, John's just updating the stock now, so you'll be able to buy it in a minute. Okay, so now I'll move on to the space cookies. Everybody's saying it's so lovely to have you back in the kitchen, oh, Karen. Oh, thank Not you. Not seen you for a long time. No, it's nice. It's lovely to be back. That's all we've all wanted is a bit of back to normal, isn't it? Right, so somebody wanted a side view, but I don't know what it was we wanted a oh, side I've view of. So, um, the last cake, can you, I think it must be that one. So, um, who has just asked me? Carly, can you just ask, tell me which cake it is? Is it the one with the bones on that you want a side view? They like this one, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> this is the third time. Third time <laughs> this yes. is the winner. Well, it's the same all it's the way round. The cake, yeah. it's just covered in the leaves all the way round. So the side view, the back view is the same, really. I mean, the dinosaurs haven't got anything at the back of them. If you wanted to, if you wanted to hide the back of the dinosaurs, you could dry some of the leaves yeah. and stand the leaves up as well, yeah. you know, make it more... That's a nice idea. ...as though they're coming it? out of the jungle, yeah, you know. Yeah, that's a nice idea, I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. So, these, I mean, these display cakes, you know, we do... Do them as good and it's great as covering you can, them. but then you always think of other things you can yeah. do as well. Well, it's great covering the mould with all your other moulds because you don't have to look for yeah. straight edges. Do yeah, you? no, no, <laughs> no, or um, any cracks in your paste, elephant skin, mm -hmm. all that sort of business that you know we all dread. 
Um, yeah, so if I show you some of the space. Oh, just let it get us one thing right. Now. Do not put the moulds in the oven. Karen will show you how to make cookies. Thank right. you, Susan, for I'll telling I'll explain. Everybody. I'll explain the cookies yeah. now. So um, Karen's going to explain the cookies to you, but do not put them in the oven. No, no. Now, I haven't got the printout of the recipe. I've been making the Viennese swirl whirls and you would get that wrong viennese whirls this week so the recipe for this has gone out of my head at the moment because it's just all viennese whirls I gave it to you, yes that's recipe, viennese yeah. whirls oh, right, i've got yeah. yeah yeah but the card you get the recipe with the mold okay and it's a very easy recipe because you just put most of it's done in a pan you know you just um dissolve everything in a pan melt melt the butter in there and then you add in your flour mix it in with a wooden spoon so it's a really clean easy uh, cookie recipe to make it's really good um now that when you make when you make it you like the sugar paste when i'm putting the sugar paste in let's pretend this is i'll just do some white now don't so worry so julie thomas yes you can you can color the color pit the sugar paste first so it all comes in white, but you can actually colour it any colour that you want. Or you can buy coloured sugar paste, it's really up to you. But if you buy coloured sugar paste, you'll probably have to add Tylo to it to fill yes. it up. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's roughly yeah. a teaspoon to 225 yeah, yeah. grams. Okay, depends on the paste, it can vary a little bit. So let's pretend this is cookie dough, okay? And I'll explain about the lollipop sticks and everything. It's a bit too much there. So... Your cookie dough, when you make your cookie dough, you rest it in the fridge. It's got to go cold in the fridge. And I'll tell you exactly the same thing for the Viennese whirls. When you've made the dough, put it in a polythene bag, flatten it out so it'll cool and chill quicker, and then put it in the fridge for at least half an hour. I think it's better with an hour or two. So we'll pretend this is the cookie dough and it's going into the mould. And I don't even need it as smooth as I'm doing with the paste. I find that when I press it in, the cracks sort of seal together. Right, so, I just want to ask you a question. Yes. Amy Hicks is in the USA. Who is yes. your distributor in the USA? Um, if you go on our website, she'd find them. Yeah. You know. So Amy Hicks, if you go few. on to Karen Davies' website, um, go on to Karen Davies' website and it will tell your suppliers. So go and have a look there. And Pat Esp is asking, is it the same recipe for your Father Christmas moulds? Yes. Yeah, there yeah. you go, Pat. Yeah, yeah. You can use the sugar cookie recipe as well. There's any recipe that doesn't spread when baking, which is usually a low-fat recipe, really, I think. Mm. Is that right? So Marie is here. <laughs> Marie Ellis is here. She said, it's lovely oh, to see you. Hiya. <laughs> she said, it's lovely to see you. And she used to go to your cake decorating I know, lessons in I, Bevington. I know the name. Your... I do. I yeah. remember her. Oh, it's a long time ago. <laughs> I was going to say, I've not known you to do classes for a long time. Yeah, 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 a long time. Anyway, so that's your cookie dough, not sugar paste in there. And um, where did I put, I did bring the stick. Right, so I put the stick onto the cookie dough now, okay? You can just damp it with a little bit of water and then use a little piece of dough to go onto the back. I mean, you could do this, if you wanted your rocket to be flying on your cake, you could do this, because this is a food-safe item, obviously, yeah. so that can stick in your cake Absolutely. for your rocket to, you know, be flying. Yeah. So that's what, got it, by the way. that's what you do. You turn over and release from the mould. Okay. So easy, isn't it? Yeah, and that would be your, that would go onto the baking tray then, into the oven. So obviously you're going to make as many as you want, put them in the oven. Um, I can't even remember the temperature, I think it's about 180 or something. Um, and that's when you're using cookie dough? Yes, that's with the cookie dough. Yeah. And, you know, if you're doing them different sized, you know, if you're doing all of them, bake them either separately or bring them out earlier, you know, the smaller ones. Well, can I just tell you, Karen, yeah. I've got a very easy shortbread recipe. Mm. And Ooh, to be good. fair, Karen gave it me years ago and we adapted it. It's actually oh, on yeah. our website. Yeah. I know. And it's called Easy Shortbread Recipe and it is amazing for all Karen's moulds. In fact, I've got a picture of her moulds there using it buttercream flowers so if I, I know some of you have said that Karen's recipe she's using at the moment is a bit too soft or it's a bit too hard you know what go for the easy shortbread so go to our recipe website which is sugar and crumbs mixing it up dot co um or dot code uh, dot co dot uk or just go to our own recipe our own website and click recipes and it's called easy shortbread bread recipe easy shortbread 
Okay. And right. it's perfect for the moulds. <laughs> What am I looking for? Blue. Have you got a blue powder colour to that use that I can yeah. use? Do you want um, light blue or a dark blue? Uh, uh, light blue, please. Or dark will yeah. do if you have any, any blue. Oh, <laughs> any blue second. will do. <laughs> any blue will do. Yes, any blue will do. Okay. So, while I'm waiting for that blue, I'm just going to go over the rocket with some pearl white luster. Okay, over the main part there. And then paint in all the details. So Carol's getting me a nice blue because there's little windows there on the rocket. I want to just put in a little bit of blue into the windows. Anything, any I know, blue. just trying to find it. Carolina that's blue. That's it, lovely. Blue that's a nice one. Oh, that's yeah. really nice. Fractal yeah. Carolina yeah. blue. I do like that. That's lovely. It's, it's quite a lilac y sort of blue, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Do you Pretty. know what it reminds me of that Wedgwood blue? Yes. Yeah. You know, people yeah. ask me for a Wedgwood colour, I always yeah. point them that way. Yeah, it's lovely. And I just want to, I'm not going to colour in the window, I just want to do some lines just dusted across to give the effect of the glass there, okay? I'm just going to get a brush and just wipe that bit of blue away that's gone over. Yeah, so that gives the effect of the windows, okay, like that, and then you can paint whatever colours, however you wish. So I'm going to do some gold onto here, oops, so just mix that in. Um, Gail, can you private message me and I'll see what I can do? And just paint the window frames. You have to remember this alcohol does dry so quickly. Carrot, could you just move that oh. bottle? Because I'm just using the side camera. The Sorry, which no, way? That, that. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the hang of it by about 10 o'clock <laughs> when we finish. <laughs> Sandra, just message me after the live and I can, I'll sort it out for you. Could you use these as chocolate moulds? You can, yes, can't you? Yes, yes. I must yes. use chocolate in them, actually. Well, the, best, them. the best thing to use is chocolate modelling paste. Yeah. You know, that's really, yeah. really good. Because they're not chocolate moulds. They're, yeah. they're hard plastic, aren't they? And you polish yeah. them to get the gloss and the yeah. shine. And um, But the chocolate modelling paste works really well, really nice. Okay. Um changing my mind what colour to do. <laughs> Some black across here. Could do with a slightly bigger brush but this will do. And this if you know when you've baked your cookies it's exactly the same as I'm doing now with the powder colours. So you would dust and paint them in exactly the same way and they're great for um, like fundraising Nesme just message me afterwards will you because I don't know what's left the building and what hasn't left the building <laughs> the large range dear Edana I haven't I haven't ordered it because it's not Christmas but I will be placing an order with Karen tomorrow so if you want it want it just message me and I'll sort it out for you Yes, Julie, they would be absolutely fabulous for kids' parties and yes. chocolate parties favours. Yeah. Yeah, they're nice, you know, to give every child a cookie yeah. or whatever. And they're nice, you can put them in the bags, you know, the clear cellophane bags and put a ribbon round. They look really nice. So they were just asking, could you just yeah. pop that book in front of them and show them what you've given them away? Yes, certainly. Okay, this is a little booklet I did a few years ago. So, um, do you want to go to the front? Front, that way. Oh, okay, so yeah, that's um, the front cover is just a little carousel cake using our horse mold, and then it's just what I mean, it's just one picture of the cake and instructions for each one. But every cake, there's molds used. I mean, that one does involve modeling the big ballerina on you know, sitting on the chair on top, oh, look at that. Yeah. but the you know, the ballerinas around the sides yeah. are from the mold. But you know, you don't have to do the big one on the top, 
there's a close-up of them so they're quite uh, quite cute what I did was I piped different hairstyles on them you did ballerina molds yeah that yeah there? that's an old one the yeah. ballerina quite old <laughs> I am going to do another I reckon it's going to be going on the website tomorrow. yeah I am going to use it again soon yeah. with the swans because oh, they go yeah. together nice don't they oh, fantastic. <laughs> right. well, when I place my order tomorrow yeah. I'll get it on the website oh, yeah so there's just the pretty simple cakes really just ideas I mean there could be in here if the books are, it's quite old so there might be a few molds that have been discontinued I think there's about two or three in there but we've certainly got all these that I'm showing you now that you can see now and there's always a, the books that I've done there's always little Christmas cakes at the back we quite like that one <laughs> Santa and you see it Carol Santa and Rudolph oh yeah <laughs> that's cute isn't it yeah yeah so what else is there oh yeah just little simple cakes easy cakes okay and there's our that's our snowman head border and very simple bo bodies and boots okay um, margaret banks you don't need a code at all it'll just get popped in don't worry about it right let's have um let margaret's order some molds well her daughter's order some molds and she thought she had to put a code in for the book oh. but no Anybody who orders Karen Davies moulds gets the book free automatically while stocks last. Now, she thinks she's brought 80 to 100 and um, I'll be robbing a warehouse tomorrow for some more. <laughs> Geraldine Kisby, what recipe are you looking for? If you're looking for this recipe, it's not on the website at the moment. I'll put it on afterwards. If you're looking for the recipes that Karen did this morning for vegan, one recipe is on the website. I'll ask Karen to put the link up. She's putting another one on tomorrow. Right, I'm just going to do the flames at the bottom of the rocket. So we'll have well, some you, bread. You would bake the cookie before you paint it, wouldn't yes. you? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're just pretending this is yes. a cookie, aren't yeah. we? Yes. Yeah. So we're pretending we've baked it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're pretending this is sugar paste, ladies. We're just pretending that this is... Um, cookie dough and that it's been baked otherwise we'll be here forever <laughs> and Karen's to, got a lot of stuff to show you I want you. to show you the Viennese whirls as well because yeah. it's um, one of my new favourite things to do <laughs> are they going in the oven tonight or are you just going to no, mould them? I've got them baked yeah. I'll show you how to mould them you know how you would put them on the baking tray and then I've got some made and I'll show you how to put them together and different ideas for of course we have to do different flavors yes because absolutely. we're here <laughs> everybody's saying how much they absolutely love your molds oh and good. they love having you back here in the kitchen ah. oh so nice nice to hear um debbie hargreaves the plum was the rainbow and it's uh not yeah it's rainbow dust it's called plum truffle and that red what red is that karen the red is rainbow dust cherry pie yeah, rainbow dust cherry pie. We stocked both of them. Crikey, it's vibrant red that. I didn't realise it was it that red. It is, there. yeah. But it's great for the flames at the yeah. bottom of the rocket here. And then I've just put some gold on just to, you know. I'm not painting it very well because I don't normally hold it up here like this. But you can see the effect. I'm sure you can do it better than I have. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now what else is on here when i do the spaceman i'll just do the spaceman because he's quick he's a nice quickie yeah quick one to do and i'm going to put different color in for his face okay so really you see he's all white suit um have i got some yeah this will do for the skin yeah that cherry red is a proper christmas red isn't it it's lovely yeah yeah mm. it is a nice strong red I had a few different skin colours, but mm. they were all little pieces, and I thought, I'll just put them all together, so it's a bit streaky, <laughs> so I'm just kneading it in, into there, get that nice and smooth, okay, that'll do, so, ready, white. Oh, hi Leanne, I think they're looking into it for you. But um, Karen Naylor is on. She'll give you the email address. She'll message it to you. Right. We're following Karen's oh, here. Yeah, Karen, yeah, Karen, Karen, Karen. Karen Naylor. <laughs> Karen Naylor does our admin. Karen oh, Grubbers works here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. 
Right, this now it, it sort of you when you want to put two colours in, it depends where where it is, how you do it. Looking at this, it it would be silly to put the face in first because the helmet goes in deeper, so it's yeah. better to put the deeper parts in first. But I'm thinking, well, that will be difficult because you know yeah, the camera yeah, oh which yeah. one that one yeah sorry Think. if you was, that's yeah. the overhead so yeah. turn it over yeah oh it is the overhead so yeah that's showing you what the customers can see yeah right i keep forgetting that bit <laughs> <laughs> so i'm showing it to them <laughs> oh so dear you from this yeah oh well, so you right you pop your head yeah the... yeah okay it's funny because it's there as well i keep thinking it's here yeah i'm going off yeah. a bit so please forgive me everybody <laughs> right um yeah so i'm just thinking like i want a different color here for the skin but i'm thinking oh it's going to be awkward getting the white round there and down here as well so it doesn't matter if you split the two up you know as long as you overlap somewhere behind it'll be okay so i think if i put the helmet in first and then the face and overlap We've got a lady in hospital who's become addicted. Oh. <laughs> so uh, addicted to your uh, yeah. moulds. Oh. Is that why she's so in hospital? <laughs> the weaning her off. So Michelle Meany Munns. Hope you get oh. better very soon, Michelle. Yes. In fact, yes. Michelle's oh, on yes. ours. Good luck. So hope you get better very soon. And I have to yeah. tell you, Karen Davies moulds are absolutely fabulous. We've been a massive fan of them. Oh. I'm a bit sticky. I feel like it's lifting out. I've probably put slightly too much in as well, but I can take some more off so i'm just making sure it's not going over the edge there or over the edge of his face i want it to just finish just there I mean, it's always best with your fingers but you can use things like um you know depending on the area use a ball tool or a dresden tool to push the paste in so now I just want to make sure that white isn't over his face anywhere. Are you no? able to just um, keep your head back? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I will. I might get it wrong, though, what I'm Do doing. Sit down there, Karen, no, 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 I'm fine. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Because I don't see you standing up doing it all. Uh, <laughs> now, I'm just wondering. Oh, it is there. I thought I'd forgotten my glue. So you need edible glue. Do you have it ready made? Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah, I've got loads of it. So I, yeah, I make, I've just made this, so it's a bit gloopy, but um, I'm just putting it very, very thin on the edge of the helmet there. I don't want it to go seep into his face. Just take a bit off and then that's nice and smooth. So that will go in and I just want to press it down so it's straight along that edge there. If you press hard, you're going to push that white paste out of the way, so be careful. So now, I can put the rest of the white in and overlap here. Um, Karen Naylor, I think it would actually work. So Karen Naylor's saying, mm -hmm. would it work with normal pastry? Which I would, because she can yeah. feel the paste. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, she can feel yeah, the moulds. Uh, she can feel a space fire coming on. Well, do you know, <laughs> I've just bought some pastry books. There's a girl who does oh, fantastic pastry books. And when I saw what she does, I thought, that's our moulds. Oh. I can use our moulds with pastry and it's my next thing I'm going to do. You know, so <laughs> There's so much you can do with these. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll pop that in and start to press. And I've just sort of pinched the paste into two separate pieces there to push down into his legs. I have to agree with you, Lorraine Stevenson. So Lorraine's saying she's not artistic in any shape or form, but even she finds Karen's mm. moulds quite easy to use <laughs> and very therapeutic. Oh, so do good. I. I agree. Good. Yeah, good. That's what they're for. <laughs> so I've just added little extra pieces in there to make sure there's enough. Just a oh, that's lovely, Margot. Sugar and Crumbs has got her through lockdown. And um, oh. she's found her, she's found her love for baking and enjoying all the lives and the classes. Oh. <laughs> We're trying to talk Karen into doing classes as well. Oh. <laughs> I was supposed to be having a chat with her about it tonight, but it's got sidetracked. Gone. Yeah, <laughs> busy, haven't we? So I'm just adding little pieces of paste into the back there because I was a bit mean with it. I didn't put quite enough in. <laughs> so you always want it level with the back, not going over the edges. So there we are, that's ready to come out now. 
doesn't matter what it looks like, turn it over and just bend. And out he comes, there he that. is. Okay. Absolutely. So if I lift him up here, down. It's <laughs> <laughs> like the golden shot. There we are. Okay, there's our little spaceman. So he's nice and easy to do. I'll give him a bit of colour now. Um, pink for his cheeks. there. Then so we've got Lynn Gladwell-Smith. She said she loves your moles but she still mm -hmm. struggles with the peonies. The secret yeah. with the peonies is you put them in, in the mould and then when you take them out you just pinch them and flatten them and yeah. just they move take, them into yeah. shape. They take a little longer than the rose. You know mm. the rose petals are quicker and easier but because there's so many on the peony mm. they're so frilly it does take a little bit longer but still quicker than making a peony, you know, by hand. They love him. They love the space Aww, man. Oh, good, good. Let me just wipe off some of the cornflour off his nose. That's it. And then I'll paint in his eyes. I mean, you could, with his eyes, they're so small, you could do a cocktail stick, you know, and dip into paste colour and then just dot them in with a cocktail stick but if this was a cookie you would paint them anyway Maria you? says you're giving your eight you get your eight no, away with the golden I thought shot that as I said it I know youngsters don't know what the golden no, shot is that was they? I think that was on in the 1960s yeah. wasn't it so I used to love that program as a kid yeah and you were a kid Bernie as well. the Bolt Bernie the Bolt yeah let's give him some little eyebrows and his little dot oh my paint his mouth in as well just so you can see it better see it better now and then of course a little tiny dot of white into his eyes always do that dot of white it just gives them that little bit more character oh let me brush it run oh no too runny that's how it should have been then i'll have to go over that one <laughs> but luckily i did use black eye again <laughs> i used alcohol instead of water usually i just use water for yeah. the white but i should be able to just paint oh that's too runny i don't know what i'm doing that looks fine now huh? does it yeah. from a distance <laughs> i'm zoomed in oh uh, yeah i won't yeah don't zoom in <laughs> so turn the subs off just slightly turn your sound up a little bit that'd be the quickest way just a little bit and that'll turn the subtitles off i know they're driving me mad i've got them here <laughs> I think you press the three little dots at the top, don't you? Yes. I think you go to the top of your screen, press the three little dots. I've just gone over his suit with luster. And then you can paint his um, boots silver or gold, whatever you want. Let's see, let's do silver. Yeah, I think those of you who have ordered, you might want to have held back a bit because Karen's got a lot to show you tonight. There might be a few other things you might want. <laughs> Michelle said she's going to wait to the end of it and then yeah. she's going to spend her birthday money on all oh, oh. That's the lady who's in hospital. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, we have so got plenty of brushes in stock. I don't think we've got the green one, but the ones that we have are the same anyhow. I think ours are purple. Right, so I'll just give him silver boots, um, silver boots, silver mittens, and then what do we want? You can do whatever colours you want. I'll show you the ones I've done over there in a second. I'll put gold here, and maybe gold trim on his helmet. I think this brush had orange on it before. And I'm running out of um, alcohol. <laughs> what was the brush that you used for the um, white luster, Karen? What does that look like? Mister? Just a big flat one. Yeah, that's a big flat one. There, um, We don't sell that one, actually. I think they're in Natalie Porter's sets, but I'm out of stock of those. So. And then we can colour in. I do have trim. another flat one, which is in the set. We've got a purple set of um, ten. And if you have a look in there, that's got a nice flat one, which is plenty big enough, really. <laughs> I'm just going to colour the trim around his sleeves and his legs. The hem. Maybe a little colour there. 
Don't worry if we do sell out, I'll be placing an order with Karen though tonight and she'll have it out to me tomorrow, so I'll have it back in stock straight away. Um, maybe. I have to agree with you, Karen Davies Moulds are very addicted to buying them. I don't know what it is, I don't, even if I don't use them, I just like knowing mm. I own them. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Karen da Karen's Moulds was the very first ones I bought. Uh, there we go. There he is. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the spaceman and his and so little rocket there that, yeah for it? children's cakes yeah. and for children to have a go as well well i was going to say the, the kids great. would love painting their own yeah biscuits, yeah they? Oh, although you know the rainy days you get in the yeah. summer holidays as yeah. soon as school summer holidays start well, i would say not that, that if mum made the biscuits and the kids yeah, painted them yeah. it's great yeah. fun, isn't it yeah 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 it's hard isn't it because they've been off school so long it's hard thinking of things for them to do. Yeah. Yeah. But even getting involved with the weighing and everything, the cookery sort of part of it as well. Yeah. Um, right. I'll, I'll show you the other moulds quickly that I've brought with me. The, oh, hang on. I didn't show you the cakes. Space cakes. No, you're showing the space cakes. <laughs> space cakes. Well, let's do the space cookies yes, first so of all. Nice. So they can see the cookies. Yeah. Okay. The rocket. You can have them facing you on this camera system. The, oh, God. Yeah. Will I remember that? I know. It took us a while. Oh, dear me. I'll put them out so here. Those there. Yeah. So there's some of the spacemen. I mean, you can see they do grow a little bit. They yeah, do spread I think, a tiny I think that's bit. Better, though, yeah, yeah. Bit of a depth, yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So they just they do spread a tiny little bit, not much. And there's our little alien. Look all the detail, they're they're agreeing. Yeah. With, they're yeah. agreeing with me. They like to have them so they yeah. can stroke them as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I I, I, oh, I have a massive collection. Before oh. before Karen even came and did lives here, mm -hmm. I just had a massive collection, <laughs> and there's loads of them I've never even used. Oh. <laughs> okay, so put those out the way, and then I'll show you the cakes very quickly. There's so many of them. <laughs> um, right, so we'll start. Oh, we'll start with the board. I think I showed you that earlier, didn't I? Which way do you want me to do the front? There we are. Oh, that way. <laughs> that way. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so they're good for cookies, little novelty cookies and things and yeah. gifts. Yeah. yeah, Christina did this for us. And I love the way she's done the alien, doing the different colours. If you're wondering who Christina is, Christina is a fabulous cake artist. And she actually does classes. I've had the pleasure of going on a couple of her classes with my, my uh, bosom pal, Karen Griffiths. And Irish Shutterworth, we went on the yeah. classes, uh, and Christina decorates all Karen's cakes. Yeah. That's it at the front there. Okay, there we go. So that's a planet. She's at the, if I turn that round a little bit, you can see the cake. I love it. It's good, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, really good. I love that because it's so yeah. bright and colourful. Yeah. It? And I love if you notice here, there's like the alien just poking out that's little places, one. his feet, his hands, the oh, top yeah. of his head. The little aliens coming out. There's an eye in that one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great idea. We made that one. So that's Christina's. It? Yeah, so it's lovely. <laughs> really nice. And then her second one. This is another nice one. I love that. That's just so simple, that one. Just yeah. putting all the spacemen around yeah, the yeah, yeah. there. Yeah. I was taking yeah. the rocket, it's a lot harder. <laughs> but, but that here, oh, I love this, it. can you see what that is? What is it? It's our wild meadow mold. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, the grass, you know, the, the oh, grass edge. Fantastic. So I've just seen some sponge holding it yeah. up here when it's drying. <laughs> yeah, so that's that another fantastic. idea. And then, oh, this is one I did and I put a name using the little, there's four stars together. Uh, John's, on the mold. Taken, so John's taken some pictures, so I'll ask him to put them on the community page tomorrow. And I'll get, Car in fact, Karen sent me all the pictures. I'll send them over actually. There onto the page yeah so you can use the stars to make the name for the yeah. front okay yeah fabulous oh i like that yeah. idea <laughs> that's your grandson jack isn't yes it? Yeah. yeah 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 and the other grandson is Oscar. oops oh that fell off on the way here <laughs> the alien oh dear i'll hold him up so you can see what he used to look like he used to be there is that right aren't yeah. they fantastic the cakes everybody think that they're amazing <laughs> Okay, so that's just yeah, very the cake simple. Cake artist Christina Ludlam. If you can get on it and it on, she doesn't do online, but if you can, she does private classes one to one, and four in a group. And if you can ever get on any, make sure you do. They're great. Yeah, I think she's starting up again. 
anytime soon or imminently. Right, I'm sorry about the mess building up here. Right, what's next? Oh, right, next I might show you these. Oh yeah, let's show them these. Ooh, these are good. I love these. Now, now we'll stop talking about the kids now, we're talking about yeah. the adults. <laughs> <laughs> these make because they're so they're so small i mean this is the biggest one which i think is about six inch cake mm. um they're great little gifts mm. for people no little thank you gifts or whatever these little succulent baskets so on here we've got succulent mold and our trailing one of our trailing leaves that's the succulent trailing leaves from the succulent mold and this one i've used the basket weave for the sides so you can do whatever size cakes you want and just you, you know instead of covering the cake you do the top first yeah. or with these you can just leave them as buttercream on the top yeah. and just put the sugar yeah. paste around That's the sides do, isn't it? yeah mm. yeah so if i show you quickly some of the molds off that and this is a new mold isn't it that yes well, when did this the one come leaves this came out was it easter we just before easter i yeah. think a week or two before easter is this above now from above there you go yeah so you can see that's the trailing succulents that i've just shown you on the basket um we've got eucalyptus ivy and rose leaves oh. as well so there's lots of different things you can do with this one but this is very quick and easy if i show you this that's on the baskets there so we put corn flour in oh, the succulent cakes are brilliant and these leaves really do set it off and it's amazing with all your other things mm. like your birch wood and your basket weave and yeah and they all go out, together yeah. <laughs> yeah they all go together so this one this succulents you you know you don't have to do the whole stem you can just start halfway along and do a smaller piece or whatever you know you don't need but just saying what they love about your molds mm -hmm. is you get as much in the molds as you possibly can yeah yeah, yeah. Well, someone good. someone we saw a comment the other day on facebook someone some people were talking about them and someone said oh yes but they're so expensive but they're so big yeah, they are. <laughs> and they're very thick they're and so, chunky they're so silicone big is very expensive isn't it yeah it is it is for a good good quality silicon it is very expensive yeah. but you know if you weigh these yeah. and compare them to others and what others cost yeah. they're not expensive no because we you know we put as much on as we can and make them nice and big and easy to use right so I just pushed that along as I as I went along pressed it in and then at the end just take off the excess with your thumb okay and then just turn it over and bend and out it comes and pop that on here um, the basket weed was in stock have you brought basket weed with you tonight can you remember I think I have, yes, five. five right. I've brought, I think. I might not have updated all the stock that Karen brought before. I've got to be honest, Karen came here, was unloading the car, made a brew, got chatting. So I will go and put them in stock. Just hold on one second. <laughs> I've got my computer here, actually. I don't know why I didn't put it on before. Right, I've just got some powder colour. This one is autumn green, rainbow dust, autumn green. Or you could use moss green. They're both nice dark greens and if you push it brush the color into the stem first and then just brush off any excess corn flour you can see that does it that's all you need to do okay i think i've got a little bit more there i need to brush off really on the edge there you go so that's ready to go onto your cake we're using one of your molds in our cupcake bouquet class, Karen. Ooh. We've seen how many molds I bought off you, the hydrangea. Hi, Did yes. you think it lost a part of it? <laughs> yeah, the hydrangea. Think it was a typo every time I order. <laughs> so we're oh. using it in your class on there. Oh, wow. We're using it in yeah. the class for our cupcake oh. bouquets on Wednesday. Yeah. Oh. So they're all Brilliant. excited about that. Brilliant. I've just realised I haven't got the colour I wanted for this succulent, so I'm just mixing these two greens together. Um, I could probably put a little bit of black you know to get a little gray tint to it but i'm not i'm gonna just in case it goes wrong i'm just going to make a lighter green a paler green to put into this one you here. can use liquid colors as well to color your um sugar paste so there's no problem using the gels for them i wouldn't would you use liquid liquid no liquids no. are more to paint yeah. or to use in water exactly. icing or a little bit in royal icing um 
use the gels to do this yeah. to colour. Powders are to brush on or paint on. I mean, I do mix them into paste sometimes if there's a particular colour I really like or want or I want it to match up with something else or whatever. But um, they don't go as far as the gel colours. So, right, push that paste in. It's a rustic it's basket weave. Yeah, whoever asked me for the rustic basket weave, it is in stock. Push that paste up into each petal. Now this flower as well has got an extra petal here, so you can you can mould five of these and put them behind when it comes out to get a bigger flower. That's what I've done on yeah on the basket here. That made this flower bigger. So this is what I'm moulding now, but these extra petals are the one that's on the mould. Okay. It's funny, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They're just saying about our husbands roll their eyes when we order cake decorating stuff. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to be a problem when they order their golf stuff, does it? <laughs> or when they order their beer or whatever they want, doesn't it? <laughs> they don't get it, men, do they? Oh. There we go, that looks okay. I'll pay you now. Um, oh yeah, we forgot there's a man here, you're Carol. You're in the bad books, I'm sure. <laughs> you. You'll just stay there very quietly. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. She's never going to let you live it down. No, 15 minutes. <laughs> oh. Right, I've put some dark green powder into the brush. And I'm just going into the petals there, deep. Can you see that okay? Just shading it a little bit. Yeah, that's right. Men, they like ordering computer stuff and everything, don't they? <laughs> so it's all right for them to order their bits, photography Oof. and everything. <laughs> I never tell John. <laughs> What they don't know doesn't hurt them. I remember many years ago, John said to me, you cannot possibly want any more cake stuff. You really can't. And I went, no, no, I've got everything. Barry couldn't understand why I always wanted to buy books. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cake books. <laughs> oh, I used to love cake books. There we go. So that just gives it a bit more depth. Yeah, pushing okay. stuff and then as well. <laughs> and then I'm going on to the plum truffle again, just to do the edge of the petals. Um, let me just see about the butterfly and insect for mould. Because I've just put that into stock today. Again. <laughs> it's selling fast that one, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. So there's your succulent. The other thing you can do with this is snip the petals. Now did I bring no. Tiny scissors. If you have tiny scissors, you can snip the petals, make them stand up a little bit, and then you can dry this in a former as well to oh, give it can shape. Some tiny scissors out. I've got if you know where they are, oh, yeah. I've only really brought some big scissors with me. Yeah, you can dry it in a former as well to give it a bit more shape rather than it just drying flat like this. And they just take a few hours to set. They don't take long. Here we go. Oh, thank you, Carol. Right, yeah, I've got some small scissors. They're very posh scissors, aren't they? Yeah, we've got them on our website. We've got those Ooh. and we've got, we've got yeah. uh, unicorn ones. Oh, and gosh. So, and yeah, so you see there, I've just snipped that. And you either, you either colour it and snip it, or you can snip it and then let it dry, then colour it. But you wouldn't snip it, then colour, because obviously it's going to um, flatten the petals down again. I'll just do these. You don't have to do. I'm not going to do any more after this. Just those two layers of petals. There you go. Okay, and then that would dry in a former. So that's those. And then the basket weave. Did I bring it? Yes, I did. Just looking for. And some brown paste. Now this is a nice size for the side of your cake, okay? So whenever you're using this on a cake, you know, for a basket cake, you never have to cover your cake all over with fondant or sugar paste. You can just do the top surface of your cake and then use this as the side covering. So I'm just kneading that, getting it nice and smooth. And then somewhere I've got a small rolling pin colour's not mixed in properly but it doesn't really matter 
So I start to roll this out before I put it into the mould because if it's too thick and bulky it'll make, just make it very difficult to do. So this is too big but I'll show you how to take some off. Because it's straight at the edges as well, I can just roll across, not worry about it going over the edges. So just put Did it on. Did you bring any more for supplying insects with you tonight? Do you know? Um, just what you ordered, five, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Did you write that down? What? Butterfly and insect, five. Right, so, so those who wanted butterfly and insect, don't worry. I think I should have done a job before I started live. <laughs> <laughs> It's in, stock. it's in stock. So I've pushed it in at the beginning here. So you've got the shape. And then you just start to roll and press as firmly as you can. And don't worry about it going over the edges here. It could be trimmed off when it comes out of the mould. Linda, private message me, please. Linda Manley. So now you either take off the excess paste with a knife. Okay or just use your thumbs which is what I prefer to do if it's sticky just put some extra corn flour on there yeah I prefer to do that because I can feel where it is when I've got the knife it, I don't know you just can't feel it let me just ask you a question I, yes. think, I think it's related to this Anne Stevenson can you use them on 80, 8 inch deep cakes I think it's what you're doing now. You can. can yeah, you? with this you could. Yeah. Some of them, some of the side designs are more tricky because you you've got to disguise the join yeah. or whatever. But I'll explain it a bit with this when it comes out. So if you take that out, I mean it, it falls out, doesn't it, really yeah. easily? Okay, you see the yeah. detail on it. Really nice. Um, I'll just get a cutting wheel and trim off the sides there. This is quite a good one to do a deeper cake with because the pattern, although that's a really straight line, what I'll do now actually, if I cut that in half, or a piece off. You can show them. Yeah, and match it up. Yeah, so you see, if you push those together, you know, it'd be attached to buttercream or jam or whatever, you need to sort of, you can still see a little bit of a straight line there. Just, so you, just lean back a little bit. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. You. you get a Dresden tool and you push with the Dresden. Never use your fingers to press in. Always use the Dresden tool to push anything back to disguise. I'm not doing that very well because I need to be like this. <laughs> sit down no, no, it's fine. Um, ladies, if I'm out of stock of anything, just shout up and let me know and then I can sort it out. I'm placing an order with Karen after the live anyhow. She's brought a load of stock and I've clearly not updated the website through too much chatting when she came. So <laughs> I can put into stock what that is and I can also add to it and it'll be here before your order's dispatched anyhow. Um, what was I going to say to you there, Karen? I forgot. Mm -hmm. Have a think, have a think. So you c yeah, so you can hardly see that join there. Obviously it, be, it would be better. And joining up the sides, they slot together. Yeah. And again, you use your Dresden tool to push them together. Yeah. Okay. So the Dresden tool is fantastic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's got so Dresden things, tool. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think the Dresden tool is one of the most important tools everybody mm -hmm. should have. Yeah. The Dresden tool, is yeah. done, there's, there's two. You can buy them at the PME ones or the FMM ones. I think the, the Dresden tool is called Dresden tool mm. with PME, isn't it? What's yeah. it called with, a, is it called a flute and vena? Oh, don't know. PME. Don't uh, know. Jet with FMA. <laughs> so uh, Nicholas know. Skinner wants to know, do, do you use corn flour rather yes. than icing sugar? Yes. Always corn flour. Yeah. I think if, if your paste, um, I mean, this isn't a sticky paste, it would probably be fine. There's icing yeah. sugar here. I could have a little go and show you. Let's have a go. It will work fine with icing sugar. Yeah, I mean, this might, this will probably come out too much. Yeah. But if you use, um, if you're not using this paste and you've got your own, you've mixed Tylo into it or whatever, and it's a little bit sticky or soft, that icing sugar is just going to soak into it. So there's no barrier then between the mould and the icing. The, yeah. the corn flour doesn't sink into the um, icing, to the sugar paste. Does that make sense? <laughs> or does it sound <laughs> stupid? No, no, it does make sense, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just doing this little border, this little trim. This is the plaited borders mould, and I've used this around the edge of the baskets. So I just push along 
Um, the Dresden tool is in stock. There's plenty in stock. I've, I forgot that I've actually got a computer in front of me. I don't know why I went running <laughs> off to my office before. Oh. Yeah, there's loads of them. Just go for Gem. Just um, do a search Gem Dresden tool. To be fair, it's one of those tools that you need for everything. A little icky, as uh, Natalie Porter calls it, a little icky bippy. <laughs> oh, that's a new name. <laughs> yeah, that's the border I used. Before, I forgot to explain about colouring because I got carried away with joining up and matching up and everything. So with these, um, you can make it look even more detailed with a bit of powder colour. So if I've got some brown on my brush, rub it into the paper well. And then where the, where the basket sort of goes underneath that row, just sort of start with the straight brush and pull it out do you see and it shades it a little bit so you would do the same that way that's a good idea and that way it's only a little bit obviously you couldn't do this you wouldn't be turning your cake upside down <laughs> i'm just doing it because it's sort of easy so wherever it's going underneath tuck in your brush and pull it up if I lift that up again, you can see it's starting to get that shading effect. And I like to brush like a light colour as well on top to bring out that shape even more. So, yeah, there's a lot you can do with it. I mean, even if you just sort of brush over, it, you can see there's more detail on it. Sarah, the gingerbread moulds are in stock. Just go back, they are in stock. <laughs> right, I'm going to tidy away this... So Maria Ellis wants to know, are you still, you're not in Royal Standard House anymore? No, we've you? moved. Yeah. We're on the Argyle Industrial Estate. Everybody knows where that is usually. She should probably know where that is. So yeah, I'm just going to, I'll actually just slide these off over because I want to show you the Viennese Whirls. Barbara Dixon says she's bought your meadow mold mm -hmm. and that, that is fabulous. All Karen's molds are amazing. <laughs> So Anne Dixon said, Dickinson said, can you just say, why would you oh. use corn flour instead of icing sugar, please? It, to be fair, it's less sticky, isn't it? Yes, yeah. It just puts a better barrier between the paste and the mould. The icing sugar will just sink into the paste. It will just absorb into the paste. And what colour did you use for the basket weave? It was just a beige, wasn't Just it? brown. A little bit of Find dark it. brown yeah. to get the beige light, colour. to get this light colour. Okay, and then the powder colour on top is just a dark brown, rubbed into the paper really well before you apply it to so the paste. So Maria, the fondant was white and Karen has just coloured it with a little bit of a brown gel colouring and then just to get it a beige colour and then she's dusted it. Right, so what have we got here? Beanies, Wills, yeah. oh. this is where they're all going to go mad. <laughs> See, all of you have placed orders now and then you're going to want these. Oh. Right, I'll show you the recipe, but Carol is going to put it. You could always pause that now and take a photograph of the screen. Do it on the overhead. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. See if we get it. Oh, yes, there you go. A bit close. Do you want to drop it down to the, to the board? Okay. Yes, she is, Donna. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Yeah, so that tells you the ingredients. Very simple. Okay, the important thing is your butter is soft when you start. So if you beat your butter, make sure it's really soft. You can do it on your machine or, um, oh, the dough is in the fridge. Yes, yeah. so, so around the mold. Sheridan, the flour mold that we're using at the moment is the succulent mold. That's what it we're was. using. It's yes, the succulent. succulents. That's what using. It's succulents. Yeah. Yeah, so the dough, once you've made the dough, it needs to go into the fridge for, I think I say half an hour, but it's at least half an hour. This and the, the mould. Yeah, the so mould. I do it all completely differently. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, you'll feel this, Carol. It does feel different oh, to that other it? one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, on the instructions, I also tell you to put the mould in, that is so cold and nice, yeah. in the freezer as well, because this paste. It is easy to use, but if it's soft, it's a nightmare. It just goes softer and softer. Oh, the Viennese. Oh, right. Yeah, this is yeah. Viennese, really, yes. you see, yeah. this recipe, you pipe with it. Mm. But when I first made this, it was quite firm. It was in lockdown. I saw, I saw pipe, loads of Viennese whirls, yeah. and I thought, I've got a mould that looks like a Viennese whirl. Yeah. <laughs> so this is it. 
Okay. We did them on our lives and everybody went crazy with making them. Yeah. yeah. But they are difficult oh. to buy. This is a piped swirl cupcake top mould, really. It's for doing a nice swirly icing top, okay? But um, it works really well for this. So the same as normal. It is, it's funny, it's getting condensation on it already. That Your freezer's so cold. <laughs> it's been in there so long. Um, now, yeah, that is really so hard. It's been in the fridge so it's nice. The freezer, the, the mould in the freezer, the dough in the fridge. Ah, okay. And what I say is just put... <clears throat> That is 23 grams. Just put it into <clears throat> the mould. You don't need to knead it or anything. And I just quickly press it with the heel of my hand. Oh, it is so cold. <laughs> it's so hard. It's too hard now. Yeah, I just press it normally. Just press it in with the heel of my hand. But, um, ooh, if I pass you that, feel how quick it goes soft and greasy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But this is very tricky at the moment I've probably left it in too long what time well, did I get here because it went in straight it's been in since seven o'clock what yeah, time is it now uh, nine nine, nine yeah. half nine yeah. oh gosh <laughs> so I would say an hour is perfect <laughs> an hour is perfect this is just slightly too firm it will still work but I can feel it st literally starting to melt in the uh, fingers yeah I should have timed that better I should have felt it earlier to make sure that it was okay um, Gina, just message the office in the morning, please. Please, just message me. So you see, I'm just loosening the edge there. It's fine. It's worked. It's probably worked really well. Just turn it over. No, it didn't. <laughs> it was too hard. Let me just do it again. It yeah. yeah, let me do it again. Okay, so corn flour. Right. You will work. Yeah, Behave. Right. right. So, just press with the heel of my hand. That's what I normally do, so it spreads out really well, and then push it into the mould. Have you got any ready-made to show them? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Yes. We might have to taste them. Ooh, I've been good. I've been on my diet. <laughs> Simon will taste them for you. Notice you've not opened your cake yet. I, I didn't think I was, like, Allowed any cake. <laughs> yeah. No, it's so, up there for you. We'll try again. If at first you don't succeed, try again. Okay, so let's turn it over and press. Hooray! Now it comes. Good. Okay, Fantastic. so that's it, moulded. So you do those, they go on a baking tray. You bake them for about 12 to 15 minutes, yeah, something like long. that. The instructions are all there. And then out comes your Viennese Whirls baked. Okay, now the other thing I do. On half of them, I press in at the bottom. If you want them to sit sort of quite flat without yeah. them rolling around. Oh, I like them rolling like yeah, that. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> you can flatten them like that, okay? So, what I've done, actually, these are these are just plain Viennese ones. Yes, Julie, it will. Now, I've got a flavour. Carol, I sort of looked. I thought, oh, what flavours can I make? I can make flavours. I got very excited. Um, and... In the flavours I had, it was all Christmas. Yeah. Ones. Well, I, didn't one have, last I didn't have any sort yeah. of summery flavours or anything. So I found toffee apple. So I used the toffee apple icing sugar. You can't buy toffee apple at the moment. You'll no. have to wait till September. Do you have anything, like, any do you have anything like salted caramel? Well, or? salted caramel. Oh, oh that would be really nice yeah. as well. Yeah, uh, that would be nice. In fact, all of them would be yeah. nice. i tell you what would be really lush. Yeah. The sticky toffee pudding one. Yes. Oh, yes. That yeah. would be very, very, very nice, very nice yeah. indeed. It would. Yes. So, somewhere I've got piping nozzles. Or oh, saw them in a box before that, yeah. Yeah, yeah I want to do that for the toffee. And then somewhere, oh, here we are, it's the star ones. I've got these for... Uh, Scissors. Does it have to be strong plain flour? Yes, sorry, bread flour. Oh, I okay. use, yeah, I've been using bread flour. I found it better. Oh, have you? Yeah. Yeah. At first, it's funny because the first time I made these, they worked perfectly. Second time I made them, I thought, there's something not right. But the dough just seemed softer and it seemed more tricky to do. So that's why I started putting them in the freezer. We do sell strong bread flour on our website. We've got um, Nelstrop strong bread flour, which is fantastic. That's it. I thought I think I just stabbed the um, 
piping bag. So I've got some buttercream in Ooh, here. Maureen has just found two bags of toffee apple flavour stashed away. <laughs> but she hasn't just found them, she found them today as, oh, it, as happens while yeah. she's tidying up. Oh. <laughs> what am I looking for? A spoon. If you are a spoon, you can grab one out of those drawers. I've oh, been right behind. Oh, yeah, there we are, I found it. All right. I don't know why I've made all this buttercream. I don't, no, need, I don't need much. You made a lot and a great big piping bag. Yeah, great big bag. It's all I have. Can you give me that spoon? I'll give you a small I know, you probably have. Yeah, I've only got one size. One size suits all. No, I was intending on doing more, but uh, it doesn't matter, does it? No. Oh dear. Right, okay, so that's ready. Yes, she's saying, uh, Lisa Miles says, Lisa Miles Darcy says, yeah. bread flour is actually better for scones too. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that. I always, Why is it better for scones? I use Paul Hollywood's scone recipe, and that yeah. says strong white bread flour. That's, but right. when I was making these, yeah, when I made them the second time and they were a bit not quite the same, I thought, hang on, I ran, I'd ran out of plain flour. Yeah. I'm sure I used bread flour or partly bread flour. I wonder did that make a difference? And then when I made them the third time, they worked again. They worked uh -huh. better. And I was even thinking about the butter I used. I was thinking there was something wrong uh -huh. with the butter and, you know, all sorts. Because some butters, is that right? Some butters seem to melt quicker than others. Or am I imagining uh, that? I don't know. Because I always think Sainsbury's butter is harder yeah. than others, yeah? Yeah. Or layer pack, I don't, I, I don't know, I can't remember, but I always feel like there's differences with them, but it's probably just me imagining it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <Sorry>. dear. Yeah. <laughs> right, I've got caramel sauce, because I thought that would go really nice with the yeah, toffee. That would be nice. Toffee apple. Yeah. Put a dollop of that in. <sighs> Love this stuff. Now it seems a bit odd putting it in a piping bag and you, know, you just spread it but I do like to just pipe a little dot so you can see it's the same with the jam when I do the buttercream um, with the jam. So is this the bottom? We've got the marshmallow sugar paste in stock. I can't sold out already. So I'm just piping that, it's just a star, number eight star nozzle. I stabbed up a little hole in the bag because I'm beginning to wonder if I actually updated the website tonight. Stabbed it. And then I'm just going to put some caramel in there, quick. How much marshmallow did you bring me tonight? Um, I think 24. And then put the lid on. And then if it's jam or caramel, I just like to pipe a little dot so you can see it. Have you got any in more? In between each. Uh, back, no. You've got no more? No. That's it. No, that's it. Yeah, so whether it's jam or caramel, I just put a little dot, you see, of it piped in. So when they're all on a plate, you can tell which is which. And then a little dusting if you want to, a little dusting of icing sugar. Finish that off. Oops, here we are. Okay. So, so lovely. yeah, you yeah, can imagine all the different flavours with though. your icing sugar. Yeah, absolutely. What you can do with those. Sorry, I'm trying to see what, I, yeah. what stock I've put in of yeah. marshmallow flavour. Oh. So just hold on one second. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, right, guys, I have not updated, I don't think I've updated anything tonight. <laughs> have you brought me 25 marshmallow? I think it's 24 marshmallow 24. and about 18 vanilla, I think. Right. Something like that. Right, right. So one more mould, I just realised I didn't show you. I'm going to take a hit on this and put it in stock. I'll oh. probably get battered by Laura tomorrow. <laughs> when it right. rains. So, Blame me. Yeah, so. Say it's me. Let me just sort this out now. Um, right, I'm just going to finish off showing you one more mould, the tropical leaves mould, because it's on the dinosaur cakes. It's featured a lot on the dinosaur cakes. So, this big fern leaf here, 
it's like this one before like I showed you the trailing succulents you can do it whatever length you want you know you don't have to do the whole leaf right Karen Davies marshmallow is back in stock I just pray to the Lord that I didn't put it in before looking at my <laughs> stock movements I definitely didn't put it in stock so I'm just pressing this in nice and flat cleaning up the edge I as I go along. Have an invoice for this lot today um, they might have. Yeah, you might have that. There was a copy in the box as well. Right. Okay, so I'll just take that off. I'm not going to go to the bottom. That's ready to come out. That'll come out really easy. If you're not using gar paste, if you've got a different one and it doesn't come out that easy, it's usually because um, you need to add more tylo to, to the paste if it's too soft and sticky. It should work like that. The other thing I do with this as well is trim it down the middle and use that as a grass as an edge for grass mm. which I've done I think here yeah on this yeah. one here you can just see it on this on the bottom of the volcano here um, where, we Ooh, where are we uh, down there up point. a bit there we are there that's it. you've never had yeah. a Viennese well oh, oh no <laughs> oh, <laughs> now no. is the time yeah. they just melt in your oh, mouth don't yes. they yes yeah oh especially with all that buttercream <laughs> yeah so that's uh that leaf i'll do the other one the big one the monster oh, alan just said i've just gone back to work i'm gonna have no wages left oh monstera leaf yeah you can use any flavor to make the uh, viennese wheels here but karen's using um toffee apple which is a great flavor we're out of stock at that at the moment because it's a winter one. But you, you've got sticky in toffee September. pudding. But we've got say? sticky <gasps> toffee pudding in stock, which oh, I have wow. to tell is amazing. That would be lovely. I mean, I cheated with the caramel in the middle. I bought, you know, the tin of ready-made, the, um, I can't remember the make of, like the oh, Louise condensed Williams milk says, one. The pineapple would be a nice one. Oh, it's delicious oh as yes, well. that'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be lovely. So I've just flattened out this paste to put onto here. Make sure I'm not sticky because I am hot. Yes, I'm uh, back on Cake Flicks on Saturday. I'm just juggling the time to Paul at the moment because I'm meant to be on at 11 o'clock, but I'm actually on Cake International at 11 o'clock as well. <laughs> so that would be fine being in <laughs> Two places, places at, at one time. time. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing, um, what we're doing, Sam? Marshmallows, isn't it? Not marshmallows, macarons. Mm. Mac mm. On Cake International. Right? On Cake International, yeah. Oh, lovely. No, that's what we're doing on them. Um, cake Flicks. Cake Flicks. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> right there's a bit of excess paste there so I'm just pushing it over to one side take off and then you can feel where the, the holes in the leaves are you just feel it with your fingers and rub the paste away yeah. still a little bit too much so if I just push that over to the edge and take it off this is a great mould as well, isn't it? It's lovely. Yeah, well, when you think it's great with the dinosaurs, but um, I could, I've brought that many cakes with me. I should have brought some of the wedding cakes as well. Yeah. Because I've done next some time, nice... Don't worry, can you come back next week? Yeah, ne yeah. we'll do... Um, <laughs> yeah, the wedding cakes with this are nice, and it, and it goes nice with this, with the trailing stunning. leaves yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, I've just done, I think... It's and a, your sugar twine is lovely a grey, well, isn't it? Yeah, I've just done, I think, a grey... Oh no, a white three tier just with yeah. these leaves on. No flowers, nothing, just sprays of leaves, and it Blessing looks really, mold. really effective. Oh, yeah, they're popular, aren't they, yeah. at the moment? Really popular. So that's yeah. ready to come out as well. So just turn that over. If you can see any paste where you don't want it, what do we use? Yeah, the Dresden tool. The Dresden tool. <laughs> this um, Dresden tool. So, what yeah. was I going to say to you, Rita? Um, I'm going to put the recipe on the website after this live, okay, but she wants me to read it out. What have you done with it? Oh, recipe. There we are. Does it quick? There you go. Out? Yep. Yeah. Right, okay then. Let's be quick with this. <laughs> so 250 grams of very soft butter. So if I shout it out, you can go back and rewind it afterwards. 50 grams of flavoured icing sugar or plain icing sugar. 250 grams of strong white bread flour. Now we do sell strong white bread flour on our website as well. 50 grams of corn flour. If, you, if you're using flavoured icing sugar, you don't need the vanilla extract. You only need it if you're using plain icing sugar. 
and you need buttercream um, with 125 grams of butter, 250 grams of icing sugar, some jam or caramel sauce or whatever you want to put on it. Yeah. Place your mould in the freezer, mix the softened butter and icing sugar all together until it's smooth, stir in the flour and corn flour, place mixture in a polythene bag or cling film, press flat and place in the fridge for at least an hour, half an hour. Oh no wonder your horse is rock hard Karen, it's been in there for two and a half hours. <laughs> Preheat the oven to gas five, one seventy five C or three fifty. Remove the mold from the remove the mold and the mixture from the freezer and the fridge. Dust the mold with plenty of corn flour. Take approximately twenty grams of the mixture and press it in quickly into the mold. Make sure you turn the mixture. Make sure the mixture is up to the edges and level with the mold. Turn over and release. Place on a baking tray covered with parchment. Repeat, making approximately 30 halves, place in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes until lightly coloured. Leave to cool, then sandwich together with buttercream and jam. Yeah? But I'll write that on the, I'll write that on the uh, mixing it up page afterwards. Yeah, Sorry, it's Karen. nice, it's fine. It's fine. I was only colouring in these. Um, just brushing some powder on. Brings out the detail. Oh, Susan okay. Richmond's just been asked to do a six year, six tier wedding cake. Good luck to you, Susan. Oh. <laughs> what you need is two cakes and four dummies. Yeah, makes life yeah. a lot easier. Yeah, yeah. Keep the dummies at the bottom, so yeah. they're the biggest ones. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just dusting this up straight up the centre, round the holes, any holes in the leaf. Put the powder there on the edges of the leaves. And it just looks nice, doesn't yes, it? Elaine, that bit of shading. If, yes, Elaine, if you mm. order tomorrow, you'll still receive the book. Yeah. I'm going to have some more of Karen. <laughs> oh. I'll be placing another order with Karen tonight, so I'll get to send me some more. Yeah. So I think that's it now, unless there's anything Any else order. we've missed. Anything yeah. we've missed. Does anybody want to see anything again? I'll just wait for some comments, mm -hmm. see what you've got to say. Yeah. What would you like to have a look at again before we say our goodbyes to you? Ooh, Karen. You finish very early, 10 to 10. Oh, I'm gosh, on a 15 is, yeah. minute delay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. No, I've got to keep letting Simon know we had a 15 delay oh. while he's playing on our well, product. I'm not page. putting all the products on the website. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody want any, to know anything else? Does anybody want to show you anything? Have we missed anything? Why don't you show them those dinosaur boards again? The blue ones and the, oh, yeah. the boys and the girls. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot on yeah. there, isn't there? So. Yeah, there is. Let's do this one first. Ooh. Right, which way am I going? From above? Uh, should we go from above then? I yes. definitely have not put all this on the website. I'll explain what everything is on there. Okay. I love this oh, one. This well. is my favourite here, this one. I think that's really pretty. I've just used a big plaque cutter um, and then put a plain circle on top of that to get the, the nice border and used an edible glitter around the sides. The little flowers are from the brush embroidery mold. Um, yeah, what else is there to say? Oh, no, the leaves I've just done, <clears throat> excuse me, when you look at them, you know, the realistic leaves or whatever, they look really pretty in pinks and lilacs for girls' cakes. I think they look really effective. If I pull that up close, you can see that one there how pretty that is for something different you know they so don't we do, we do have a question yes you won't believe what it is oh gosh they want you to see what well, they want you to show them how to make a piping bag oh yeah basically. okay yes i will, I will tell you we do yeah. sell those piping bags ready made mm -hmm. on our website and then they're, they're not a lot of money <coughs> either you get them in packs of 10 i think they are mm -hmm. we do them small medium and large if you can't make them but karen will show you yeah i'm going to show you properly for the moment i'll just show you this quick like this dinosaur here the t-rex there's a very pretty little T-Rex with a butterfly. Um, this little flower border here is from our Swan Mould. And with all that's gone on since March, <laughs> we just realised when I got here, there's some moulds that I haven't brought and some cakes yes. that I need to show you. And one of them is the Swan Mould and it's got this lovely little spray of flowers. Oh, yes, yeah. swans and unicorns. Oh. Okay, Don't that's worry. next. I'll be booking her in <laughs> next Monday. <laughs> Hey, she's got nothing else to do, anyhow. Really she can either stay in a unit or come and visit us. Aww. Right, I'm going to just clear the space away so you can right. see. Does Simon want the um, cookie? So I've just been asked for a mold there. Trailing leaves. 
piping bag. So, yes, the trailing leaves are in stock. Okay, right. So, saying what a fantastic demonstration, Karen. Aww. Really enjoyed having you here. <laughs> Thank you. I've enjoyed coming. It's great. <laughs> nice to be back to it. Right. So I'm going to shut up now while Karen oh. shows you how to do this. Okay, right. So, greaseproof paper um, or baking parchment. Now, just cut. Just roll it out and cut out an oblong. Not a square, an oblong. You can make them with squares. Just let me stop you on a second. So yeah. we do have it in stock. It's called the basket weave. Now this will make a this will make very large piping bags. You wouldn't normally need them this big, <laughs> no. but it's easier to show you. Okay, I haven't done a very good oblong actually because they should over each side should overlap a little bit more than that. But anyway, now you could use a knife, a nice sharp. Oh yeah, there we are. So it's called a basket weave and it is in stock. If I'd creased it properly, you could use a knife. It's not very sharp. I'm going to use my scissors. <laughs> so we'll just cut across. Now, move that one out of the way. Now, a lot of people seem to think you, your point where you're going to pipe is this point here for some reason. They seem to just go upside down. Your actual point where your nozzle will go is this longest edge. Geraldine says we've got to lock you in and not let you leave. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The nozzle goes here on the longest edge. So if you think about it, on, let's start with this end. So if you, if you hold the straight edge there and pull that up, you're starting to get that point at the bottom for your piping nozzle. And then these three corners come together at the top here. So you can see now the shape of your bag starting to form. When I used to teach this in college, then people used to do this then. They used to try and wrap this one round this way for some reason. You're yeah. bringing that up to the back again. So those three corners go together at the back. Okay. Is that okay? Does everybody understand that? <laughs> now, your nozzle at the bottom, it really depends on the make of nozzle that you've got. I don't think you can get these anymore, Beckenal nozzles. These are quite narrow. Mm. And I used to just drop these in and then sort of shuffle the bag and make them fit so they sort of drop out at the end and then fit the bag around the nozzle. And that's the way I used to do these. But other nozzles, um, <clears throat> these are quite a, a, a narrow nozzle, aren't they? The, um, I mean, that's quite wide because it's the big open star. Um, rope nozzle but some of them the number one or number two did I have I have them somewhere I've probably thrown them back in the box um yeah obviously are very slim and narrower than that one so putting them in that way is easy but the other types of nozzles you can buy which are wider at the base they're a bigger circle I find they fit in better if you bring these three corners together keep that closed at the bottom and if it's open, if you find it's open, you just have to sort of slide, slip the bags. Usually pulling the back up makes that point narrower and tighter. And then just fold the top over. And then you snip the end off and drop your nozzle in. But these Beckenal, I don't really like doing that. They don't never seem to fit very nicely, yeah. neatly. Yeah. But the others, the wider ones, I wish I could find them. Yeah, the normal nozzles. Don't don't know. Yeah, that, yeah, that way fits the no that wider nozzle better yeah. I haven't seen those nozzles you're talking about for years yeah back and all. Yeah. yeah I'll do a, I'll just put this in half and do it again show you the smaller one so it was the broader one after Karen used after the basket weave what did you use after so which you used the basket plaited weave. border was it the plaited border, border this Zoe? one was did it this one? one was it the plaited border Zoe that you want this one Go on, you carry okay, on. Okay, yeah. 
Right, so I've made this, well made this smaller. So you just bring the corner. Don't forget your nozzle is going to be here. This is your point. So you bring the three corners in together like that. So you keep the point at the bottom, okay? And you see before when I was saying if there's a big hole underneath the bottom to tighten that up, pull the back up and you get that nice and sharp. And then you just fold the top over and you would cut the end off and drop your nozzle in. But like I say, it depends on the width of the nozzle. Some of them are wider at the bottom. So, you know, they, they'll fit in this bag nicely. But ones like this, you might need to, you see that's a bit loose. You would need to adjust it to make it fit by just letting it drop through a little bit at the bottom. Sort of folded at the top, doesn't want to. There we are. And then just make that fit snugly around the top and then fold it in. Right, Zoe, it's there for you. I've realised what I've done. Don't worry, <laughs> they're in stock. Good. I didn't have it under your brand, the plastic border. Oh, right. I have oh. it in silicone <laughs> moulds, but yeah, it wasn't under just the Caranday's not quite brand. in the right place. Oh. Yeah, so yeah. it's there. Uh, yeah. Good. Oh, good. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, Zoe, it didn't make sense, but I worked it out. <laughs> She's typed that fast. It says it was mm. the border one Karen used, but it all, the, all three words were together. And then after A F E T E R, the basket weave. So it took me a while to work yeah. it out. But there you go. <laughs> so, haven't we had a great night with um, Karen tonight? Absolutely, thank you. Make sure you share all your love with you. <laughs> um, do like and share the page. We'll be doing a prize draw on Friday for a £25 voucher. And um, do you want to throw anything in? Yes. <laughs> Put yes. you on the spot. Yeah. Should we throw one, uh, yeah. throw one of those swirl molds in? Yeah, yeah. Should we do that? Yeah. So we'll do a like and share for mm -hmm. the twenty-five pound voucher and a swirl mold. There, I'll put Karen on mm -hmm. the spot. <laughs> no, that's fine. I like doing that. That's nice. No, you do like doing yeah. it. You're very good, aren't you? Yeah. So we'll do that and we'll draw that on Friday. So make sure you're liking and sharing. That's quite a nice little prize. That mm -hmm. is it. Twenty-five yeah. quid and a nice. and a pack yeah. swirl mold as well. Yeah. And if you've already got it, we can always give you a credit for something else. So don't worry mm -hmm. about it. Um, I'm going to sort out my stock. What I've been doing in a minute. So. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not in stock, do oh. not panic. Just message me and let me know. And by the time Karen gets home, she'll have a lovely order. So she's dropped off a whole load oh. of stuff here, here tonight at the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. The car's oh. loaded up for the office tomorrow. <laughs> right, so Karen, any, does anybody want anything else? Everything. I think we've seen everything. Yeah, I think we've shown everything. You, any of you want anything. to see anything? Let me just get the last questions up. Uh, absolutely fantastic from Carol Shields. Joe oh. Twyman says Fab Night. <laughs> Lynn Stair says Liked and Share. Jan Travett Jarvis says Thank you so much, Karen. Oh, Jan you're welcome. Penfold, everyone saying Thank you. Oh. Iris Shutterworth, mm -hmm. Liz Brocklers, Karen Naylor, Lorraine Stevenson, all of them. Um, <laughs> All of them are saying oh. thank you. Oh no, thank um, you for watching. Yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. It's lovely to have a guest back in the kitchen again, instead of just me and Karen. Me and Karen. Oh. I don't mean it, but me and Karen. It's me and Karen, me and Karen, me and Karen. <laughs> so it's lovely to have a guest again. And uh, don't worry, I won't let her out the gates until I've got another date. All, all right. right then. <laughs> <laughs> Go and have a cup of tea, all of you, and enjoy <laughs> shopping. And when are we live again? Oh. We're doing um, buttercream flowers. Those who are on the buttercream flowers course tomorrow, half past 11 start. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right then. See you then. <laughs> what else? What are you going to say? Um, and then all, all day Wednesday, aren't we? Yes, and then we've got all day Wednesday. I'm mm -hmm. actually doing a little live on Cake International, is it, tomorrow night? It is, yeah. When are you doing your live for Cake International? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Good job you I said. Think I'm doing I must check night. tomorrow. I think you're before me. I think you're at past six Ooh. tomorrow night and I'm seven o'clock. Oh, maybe. So yeah. on the Cake International page yeah. tomorrow, they're interviewing Karen <laughs> at half past six and they're interviewing me at seven o'clock. I think that's right, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Good job you reminded me, Carol. Yeah. I've got that much <laughs> going on in my head. Don't tell me about it. <laughs> right. All right then, everybody. Thank you very much. Have a smashing night. Cheerio. Oh, thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.